September 4th, 2020, and that means that is officially the 25th anniversary of Xena. Woo! Yes, baby. Such an amazing day to celebrate the show. I have some of my little guys on display, an ancient book that I've had since I don't know when. I got the little prop that I made on display just to get a little into the festive mood. I'm gonna be watching some episodes. Um, also later on today, got my little hat, my little shirt. Um, I should have put on my earrings, but you wouldn't have seen them, my little chakram earrings. Um, but anyway, I decided today um, that I wanted to do a little bit more celebrating the show that we all love. And to do that, I'm gonna be making or remaking really a prop that I made a hundred years ago. It fell apart. Um, but it's a really easy thing to do. Um, I'm going to be remaking my Gabby staff. So this is my staff that I had. It's just a stick. It's not really a staff, it's just a stick that I found. Um, and you can see the, the, the dregs of the old prop that I made some of the, um, the twine is still on there, this little thing. Tried to take it off, I gotta cut it off. But anyway, this is the, the base that I'm gonna be using to make my remake my Gabby staff. Um, and it's really simple. Like I said, you just need a couple of items. Um, need some twine, obviously. Um, I have a bunch of faux leather left over from past projects like my fun, my fungal um, shoulder holster, Carol's archery stuff. So I have that. Um, and also we're going to be using this piece of fabric. Now this used to be a dress. Then I cut it and I made it into a scarf. And then I never wore it as a scarf. So I thought this would be a great project to use it. Um, Cause Gabrielle, her staff has some um, like geometric, uh, like woven fabric. This is not woven, but it has the sim a similar pattern that I thought would look really good. Um, it's kind of bright. Wonder if, hmm. We'll see, we'll see how it looks. Um, maybe I can do something about how, how bright it is, but I do like the, I do like the design. And then for the furry piece that's at the top, we're gonna use this stuff from this cat toy that my cat never played with. He prefers to uh, play with rubber bands for some reason. Cats, am I right? So let's get started with this. It shouldn't be long, a long project at all. Um, also, you're probably going to use some, some, some sort of adhesive, some glue. Um, yeah, so this is what I'm going to use. And I'm also going to remake this project twice because uh, for the Xena convention, I'm going to need a staff that can fit inside my bag. Now this is actual wood and it obviously won't be able to fit inside my bag. So I have this plastic staff that comes apart. <laughs> it comes apart. So into two pieces and this could easily fit inside my bag. So I'm going to be remaking this staff twice. But yeah guys, that's my little craft that I'm gonna be making today in honor of Xena's 25th anniversary so stay tuned and I hope you like it okay sorry the washing machine is running in the background and also my cat wants to be involved <laughs> but anyway we're gonna take some a tape measure measure out the circumference of this so we know how much fabric to cut now this is about four inches or four inches around. Um, and then from the top, there's a little space left. So I think maybe, maybe two inches from the top, we can start with the, um, we can start, come on. <laughs> Um, with the leather, the leather part. So the 
what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut some faux leather and wrap it around this part. Um, and I think the leather is gonna be about two inches thick as well. Okay, so I cut my little strip and now we're gonna be using hot glue to secure it to the to the thing and I'm so happy that I decided to organize my collection of cosplay stuff because everything is just so easy to pull out and just so organized I'm so happy about that good job past me so we're just gonna let the heat gun heat up a little bit and then do this little strip first to the to the stick. Okay, so I'm gonna just put some hot glue on the edges. Maybe one strip down the middle. Because this is gonna be permanent, while the other one I'm not gonna have permanent. So I gotta find a little mark that I made. Can't right there. And I'm nervous, I'm scared, I don't want to burn myself. We already have plenty of that action. Um last project. Okay. Okay. That is secured on there. Gotta cut off some of this excess. Peel off some of this excess. Hopefully this stays. I know the back panel will stay, but I mean the the piece that I put on the on the cloth part of this, but when I just pulled away the excess glue, it came out off way too easily. So I'm nervous that the hot glue won't stick to the to the part of that vinyl. We'll see. Okay. Nearly done. <laughs> this is such an easy craft. Oh my gosh. So cut off one little strip of this little fur piece. Now I think I'm going to just put some hot glue all around the stick because I'm going to wrap it around. At first I thought I would be able to split that fabric in half because it, it is it feels like you can do that but um, I just thought this would be easier to just wrap it around and it is so I might do the other one. I think this is good. Maybe a little bit more. Just maybe another inch. And I just cut another piece of that faux leather. Just clean up those edges. And then come on. be too long or too thick. Just another strip that goes underneath this fur part. Maybe I'll do that. Nah. Just go here. I think I'll cut it down a little bit. Um, the one that's underneath on Gabby's staff is a little bit shorter than the top one. Okay, so that's on. Make sure that your seams are lined up so that the seam and the seam, all the connecting seams are lined up so you'll have a, a uniform look. I just accidentally put this in the front so like it was not looking right but managed to turn it around and now we're just going to head straight into a couple of inches of the the twine 
Then I'm going to glue down the fabric and then on top of the fabric is crisscross um, twine. To start it, I'm gonna make a little knot and let's make that knot back where the seams are so that it will stay. And then I'm gonna glue that down with a dab of some hot glue so that it will stay. That's the leftover pieces of the I think occasionally um, I'm going to dab some hot glue just to make sure that the um, that the twine stays in place. It should stay in place without it, but just to be careful. And now I'm going to wrap it around for a few inches. Cut off. You can cut off a long strip, but I like to make life difficult. <laughs> or actually, we're just gonna twist it. I'm so smart. So that is that first layer of twine. We're gonna see how many inches that is to be precise. So that's three inches of twine. And now we're gonna lay down the fabric and then start crisscrossing. So just gonna hot glue this piece of freaking feather keeps coming back. Hot glue that down. And that is that. Now let's go get the fabric and hot glue that down. Okay, here's the fabric. It, it is about 13 inches across or, you know, wide or whatever. And we're going to use that full length instead of cutting it down. And I'm only probably going to need about, you know, this much to wrap it around, maybe even less. Um, and we're going to use the back side because the back side is a little bit more muted in color than the front side. Okay, so I've already wrapped it partially. Now we're just doing the final. Careful, don't burn yourself. I have some excess to cut off, but that's okay. Okay, so the fabric is on the stick. Uh, the seam, the back seams are matched up with uh, these and that was completely by accident even though I literally just said to remember that um but anyway now all that's left is to cut off two long pieces of twine and then crisscross them along the fabric and then another layer of twine that's uh, circled around the stick and then they will be done I am so happy that my cat is distracted right now or else this twine project would not be possible <laughs> because yeah playing with a lot of string and he would not let me complete this I 100% know that okay guys there we go the finished Gabrielle staff prop um, 
Definitely gonna replace this little fur piece because it's not really accurate. Um, but it's just what I had on hand and it will do. This is just for fun, um, my personal kind of collection. And uh, like I said, I will be redoing another one. Um, this fabric wasn't as great as I thought it was gonna look. Uh, this fabric isn't as great as I thought it would look on it uh, for this piece, so we're gonna look for something else. Um, I do have some other, let me get it real quick. I do have this fabric. It is a headband. It was my first um, headband that I used for my Michonne cosplay, but it does have that kind of geometric um, shape, similar colors. Um, and I think I'm gonna try and use this fabric. It's definitely enough, it's long enough, thick enough um, for the staff. So my, the next one that I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna use this fabric unless I can find something more suitable to the screen accurate fabric. And yeah, guys. Okay, y'all, so that is the making of my Gabrielle staff prop. I'm ready to take on some bad guys fight for good and justice uh yeah so um i pretty much had everything oh it's time to go my scroll's falling down um but yeah i pretty much had everything that i used in my stash to make this um but i'll try and find some comparable stuff to link down below for you guys to if you if you're so inclined to make your own um and happy 25th xena anniversary y'all and if you're making any sort of xena prop or xena costume for the upcoming convention i would really love to see it or hear about it um you can find me here and on instagram at po carol twd over there um and yeah, happy Xena 25th anniversary, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye! Please. Please stay. He is in, his legs are so weird. Okay, 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 we're good. Zena now, Zena's leaning. And Kalisto has fallen. There she is, okay. Okay.